OK, let's have a look at the grade point selector. So I'm on the home page and my grade point selector is up here. Now, if I just click on that lozenge, I get this view coming up. Now, by grade point, um, I'm talking about any submission to connect data. So that could be an examination grade point, so all your exam results, or it could be an internal monitoring point or data collection point or however you um, describe them. So you'll see there are four slots there, which I can fill up um, with different grade points. And at the moment, I've just got one selected. So um, let me show you how to do that. Now, when I click on this one that's called the main grade point, um, uh, I get these options available to me. And um, I've been using Connect Data for some time. Sorry, Connect for some time. So look at the number of grade points I've got going back, back, back in time. So that's a rather impossible to find thing. So I'm going to use some filters. So um, I'm going to select um, some uh, grade points from last academic year. Um, I want to look at my year 11s. And I'm just going to focus down on the monitoring that I did last year. And I've now got a very um, clear selection of monitoring points that I can use. Now, those are in order of the way that your, your data manager published them from um, earliest to latest. So if I was to check uh, the pro tag, so the latest grade point and just click on that, you will see that it has auto populated the three prior to that that were published prior to that. Now, you may not like that selection, and that's absolutely fine. You can manipulate it like this. So if I don't want to see, for example, that January one, I can click on it and I can delete it. Um, if I don't like the order that these two are in, I can use that little symbol there and I can drag that across and I can man maneuver um, these grade points in any way that I want. I also now have a free grade point here. Um, so for example, let's say I want to mix and match and I want to put an exam grade point in here. Um, I'm going to um, select exam grade points. Now I'm only going to see one at the moment because I've got that academic filter on. But if I just pop that off, then I can see all of my exam uh, grade points. So I could, for example, have um, an exam grade point and three monitoring ones that um, come after uh, that exam grade point. So I can compare back to what last year's year 11 were doing. So that's the, the grade point selector. Just a word um, of warning. Um, if I go into a page of Connect and I have that filter on, then I, I'm just seeing my GCSE subjects. So if I pop into a GCSE subject, um, I can change my grade point um, selection. So I've got the same options available, but just from within a GCSE subject, don't select a year 13 or a key stage five um, a monitoring point because you will get a notification that tells you you haven't got any data for that subject and you need to return to the home page. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thanks very much.